March, Monday. Well, I'm going to soccer now. Dad signed me in after he found out about me quitting on sports day. Come on, Dad, look, I know it's wrong that I quit on sports day, but I don't want to do soccer. No, it's already too late. I already signed you up to soccer, and no son of mine is a quitter. Look, I forgive you for quitting on sports day, but don't do this again. He said I'll start tomorrow, and I'm pretty bummed out since I was supposed to play a new Twisted Wizard, the Bronze Wand. Anyways, I decided to do some research about it since... I still remember basketball season. Ugh. And man, was it a lot. The place I'll practice in is called Plainview Field, or PF for short, and practice on Tuesday and Thursdays, along with two tournaments on the weekend. So, I guess this really is similar to basketball. Tuesday, today was soccer trials, and there were actually a few people I knew. Anyways, they validated us based on different drills, and... The first one was dribbling. And let's just say I didn't do too well. Kid, I said go around the cones. This is the fifth time I had to tell you. Next was goals, and I was the only one who didn't score. <laughs> I probably will be picked on either of the soccer teams, and thank gosh for that. Finally was passing, and I kept using my left foot for some reason. Weird. Afterwards, they said they'll send the results on the school board tomorrow, and... I really hope I don't get picked from the teams, because then I'll have to waste four months on soccer instead of doing something more productive, like playing Twisted Wizards. I was really tired from practice, so when I got home, I just slept the entire rest of the day. And I gotta admit, I now kind of understand why Roderick always sleeps in. It's amazing. Wednesday. <sighs> Welp, I'm screwed. I checked on the school board this morning and I did not expect this. I was really confused. How is my name on the team? I was doing terribly in practice. Why would they even let me in? I asked around to see how this was even possible and Chirag told me that good players at tryouts left the state. So they got us terrible players. So great. Just, just great. Now, I have to do practice for four whole months, and I don't even like soccer. So tomorrow I gotta go to Plainview Field to train. Though, luckily for me, Rowley's my team. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that he wanted to do some sports and conveniently, he chose soccer in the end. Thursday, today was honestly bad. You know my other journal that I did soccer with Mr. Litch? Well, He's my coach again, and I still remember him shouting us just for having a break. Get your butts over here. Break's over. But, but sir, we just... I don't care! I'm the coach, and what I says goes. He's a type of drill sergeant, so that might explain why he acts this way. Anyways, I remember years back, Roderick had him as a coach, so I hope he doesn't recognize me. Or else things are going to get really bad. We trained and it was honestly pretty difficult, but I decided to continue on. In the end, we ran five laps around the entire field. He did let us go and, oh, man, if, if, if this is my daily routine, I think I'm gonna die. Friday, today, Holly, yes. Holly, as in Holly Hills, DM'd me. You're probably confused how, so let me explain. You see, Plainview Middle School used Discord in 2020 for the cough cough, and now it's a messaging app. She asked if I could make a drawing of her and Bryce for their one year anniversary, and she even offered me $20 for it. And obviously, I agreed, and I am going to give it to her on Monday. And if you're wondering why she chose me of old people, well, you see, Rowley is friends with Holly, and I figured he told her about my great artistic skills. But she said something that pretty much made sure she actually knew who I was. She used my name, like, actually properly, because last year at the school dance, she called me Fredly. Anyways, I'll start on a picture tomorrow because right now,
I am exhausted. Saturday. <sighs> I was woken by dad at 8 a.m. Since he likes to make our house clean in the morning. So I decided to start a drawing for Holly. But I did watch some TV beforehand. But sadly, it wasn't really that interesting since golf is always on TV on Saturdays. After getting bored of that, I decided to finally start Holly's picture and I really wanted to impress her, so I made a masterpiece. Let me just say, it was pretty good. And I mean, really, really good. So, for the rest of the day, I just played some good old Call of Duty. Sunday, what the heck happened? I just woke up and went to the picture I made yesterday so I could give it to Holly tomorrow, and it was totally ruined! I, I don't even know what it is anymore! I was so mad, I could destroy a whole house! Then, I saw Roderick smirking! And then, even worse, he said something that made me go ballistic! I literally punched him so hard that blood actually spat out of his mouth! Mom then came rushing to Roderick's aid, and he went to the hospital. Good! He's just worse than that for what he did! <sighs> now to finish Holly's picture in. Want to know the worst part? Not only did Roderick ruin my picture, he also took my stationery and gave it to Manny! And then he sold it! What a bitch! Monday. <sighs> I was up all night making Holly's picture, and let me tell you, I barely got any sleep. You see, remember when I put the clock under my bed? Well, it turns out I forgot about it. So thanks to that, I was tired all morning. In biology, Holly asked for it, and I gave it to her, and then she said something pretty shocking. Wow, G Greg, this, this is amazing. This is way more than I asked for. Thank you. She paid me, and she even told her friends about me. I tried to rally about it since he's also friends with most of the people at school, but he was too busy reading a Spider-Man comic. Tuesday. Well, today was the first day of practice, and I'm actually pretty worried about this. He instructed us to first do push-ups, and then we would actually play a game. It was so difficult. I was Defender, and let me tell you, it's extremely hard being Defender. Rally is by far the best. He literally paced us and scored so many goals. The end result was both me and Albert having zero, Shrog having two, and Rowley carrying with 18 goals. Man, he better hook me up in his formula win because I'm his best friend after all. And then, I'll be the best. Oh, and you don't know why I'm not interested in soccer? <laughs> well, one, girls love boy who does sports. Two, popularity points. I remember last year I whole journal on who was at what level of fame, and me? Uh, well, let's just say I'm pretty down there. Which is why I'm going to use soccer for some popularity and finally reach the big leagues. Thursday, Mr. Litch said today we we're going to play a practice match with the A-team, but I just think he wants us to humiliate ourselves because, after all, there was quite a large crowd at Plainview Field. Mr. Lynch told us the plan, but I was massively confused. I was, for the first time, goalie. Now, that wasn't a problem, but what was the problem was when I saw something that caused my instincts to kick in. Let me explain. You see, when I was a kid, I always loved blowing tulips. Unfortunately, Dad isn't exactly happy about it. It's also the reason why I was kicked out of baseball. And let's just say... Things went south real fast. They scored, and we were booed at. And my team was really, really mad about it. Especially Mr. Lich. He chained me back to Fender, and to be honest, I wasn't really the best deflecting the ball back. But then, something really, really bad happened. The A team had a penalty shot. My teammates were really scared, but I was mostly tired at this point. But then, they did the penalty, and my tiredness was now gone. Instead, I am now super anxious, as I also saw some teenagers with phones, and I think they're recording us. The whistle then blew, and the guy who was shooting was known for being the king of penalties. He then kicked the ball, and 
We didn't just jump out of the way because uh, I don't want my pace painting for an hour. Oh, yeah. I'm, in life, so I'm not getting hurt. And that's all for today. A team wins two to zero, but don't forget B team tried their best. I want you to all shake each other's hands and wish each other a good game. A team scored, and so the final score was two to zero. We lost, and so Mr. Lich made us have it. Also, I guess we will record what happened, and now my flop is on a daily magazine. A blown opportunity. Plainview B team suffers a 0-2 loss to the Plainview A team in today's practice game. But what was most embarrassing was how the B team's goalie, Gregory Heffley, takes a break from the action as a 50-yard kick rolls in. I tried talking to my team, but I guess they weren't too interested in what I had to say. Well, it sucks that we lost, and it is kind of my fault, but... It's just a stupid game, right, fellas? And, and it was just practice anyways. It's not like it was a real one. We didn't lose anything. So, I suppose my team hates me now. And, worst of all, the Daily Magazine sent a newspaper to our newspaper team at school, and they always hand them out to the parents. So, I'm probably going to have a talking to my dad. Thursday night, 8 p.m., Let's you and me have a talk, friend. And this is what he said to me. I'll start from the beginning. Dad said he wanted to talk with me and he said friend, which actually just meant your ass is going to get whooped. He shot at me for around 30 minutes and then he said he was massively disappointed in me. He said I was a failure and he wishes he never made me, which is super harsh. But... Worst of all, he was right. One, I let my team down. Two, he was never happy when I was in the room. And three, he always asks mom to disown me. He then slammed the door on his way out. That night, I actually thought about it and I guess you could say I, I need help. Friday, now school, I genuinely will say, I never knew that people could be this cruel. I was in the school's paper's front page and I was bullied. But worst of all, I, I think I lost all my popularity points because now I'm the least popular or not at all popular at my school. Well, I was the only one not giving me a hard time and I just left school as soon as the bell rang. Anyways, I said I do need actual help, so... I called a person and he said it was $100 a lesson. Now, you probably want to know where I got the money. Well, you see, I bought Manny some stuff. And so when mom comes over, she will know it's Manny and not punish me or even him because he'll probably tell her he's only free. Well, I mean, that'll work as long as he's a snitch. So I came to the place. Therapy Haven. Yeah, that's the name of the place. I know, it sounds really stupid. I entered a place and waited for a while. We then met and he introduced himself as Mr. Cass. He said I should talk about my feelings and how I feel, but I don't know where to start. Mr. Cass then asked if I had a diary, so I quickly corrected him. Uh, it's a journal, not a diary. <laughs> Sorry, just need to clarify. He didn't ask if he could read it, and I really didn't want to, for privacy reasons. But I need to understand why I disappoint everyone, so reluctantly, I handed it over. After reading it for a bit, he paused. He didn't ask me if this was really my journal, and I said yes. Mr. Cass didn't say that after him evaluating it, he diagnosed me as a sociopath and a narcissist. I asked what it was, and he said a sociopath is when a person doesn't care about their friends and only uses them. And a narcissist is a person who is all about themselves and thinks they're the best. And I completely relate to this. He didn't ask me a question. So, this friend of yours, Rowley, that's his name, he seems to be a good friend. I don't see why you need help. You're using people for your own gain. He didn't pause for a bit. 
listen, you will stay here for around two weeks to see if you have any progress in. This is so bad. I'll make sure the next lesson's all free. I thanked him for helping me, and before he left, he said I should treat Rowley and all my other friends, unfortunately only Rowley, with more respect, and you know what? I think I'll try to do so tomorrow, Saturday. We have first real game today, early at 9 a.m., and since I screwed up the practice game, I was just a shag, which I kind of deserved. We won 1-0, to zero, all thanks to Rally, and instead of getting jealous, I just decided to congratulate him. I then invited him to my place, and I played video games while he sat on the couch and watched. But I then thought about what Mr. Cass said and invited him to play, and... We actually had a great time! I now finally realize what Mr. Cass means. I am a sociopath, using people for my own gain. But now, me and Rowley are really enjoying ourselves. But eventually he left, and I just went to sleep since I was really tired today. Sunday. We had no game today, so I was just resting. I was going to play video games all day, but... I knew mom wouldn't like that too well. She would probably just say I have to go outside and socialize. So I decided to go and actually play some soccer with Rowley. I really need to get better at soccer and he's the best in our team. So I head over his place, but he wasn't there. We just just didn't set a off his lawn, so I asked him where Rowley was and he said he went to the arcade and will come back in three hours. So I decided to go to Shirag's house instead. I mean, I haven't been there in a while, and I do need to make more friends, but let's just say last I went there, it wasn't so pleasant. So, I was surprised when it was actually pretty really cool of me being over there, but I can't really say the same thing about his dad, who was still mad over the whole invisible Chirag prank. I asked Chirag if I could play video games with him, and he said sure. We had so much fun playing, but after a while... I had to go home, but before I had to, I apologized for the whole Invisible Chirag prank and that I realize now that it wasn't right for me to do so. Chirag told me he forgives me and he hopes one day we can eventually do this again. Eventually, I arrived at my house and went to bed and I heard shouting something to do with me, I think. You know what? I genuinely think I was right about my family. Mom is a Karen, Dad's a deadbeat dad, and Manny is a spoiled demon. Oh, and Roderick? Roderick, uh, you know what? After thinking about it, Roderick is by far the most normal person. Still pissed about what he did to my photo. But I didn't hear a huge slam on the door, and I rushed over to Mom, and she said something that completely shocked me. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gregory. <laughs> You're... Your dad, he left us. Mom said she caught him cheating on her with Mrs. Jefferson of all people. They were texting and dad went to the bathroom. Then she heard too many notifications and checked on what it was and found out. She and dad were arguing on a topic and dad left as he loved Mrs. Jefferson more than mom. I comforted mom and I went to sleep around midnight. Monday. It's been one week since Dad left us, and it hasn't been lively in the house lately. You see, since Mom quit her job to be a stay-at-home mom, and Dad paid the bills, now Mom is really stressed since she can't pay the bills, and if me and Manny have a problem, she'd be really mad at us annoying her, like yesterday when she tried to apply for a job. Mom, Manny called me a ploopy again. I said, Mom, Manny called me a ploopy again. Mom, please answer what me. What is a be Greg? Huh? Is it more important than what's going on right now? Sorry. It's just, it's just been really stressful ever since your father left. I mean, I've been trying to find a job and... I didn't mean to be so mad at you. Also, Ronald just decided to get a job to help her. Even though his job kind of sucks. I've also gotten a job. Well, more like freelancer. Me and Rowley every day sell lemonade to other people, and since it's almost summer, it's extremely hot, so we usually get a lot of people. 
And even though Rally was wearing a scuba mask for some reason, we were actually happy getting money. We also had some controversy with a lady. She was really mad about how we used scuba snorkeling for mixing the lemonade, but we should be fine. I think. Manny's also getting money, but only for himself. He uses his age for money. Yesterday, he made scribbles on a paper and got money. He uses the money for candy and toys, and you will notice by checking his room. Anyways, we have been trying to help mom ever since. I also started to practice soccer a lot more in the backyard since I heard there's a weekly soccer event that gives a winning team a thousand dollars and I can get a cut of it. School has been hell, but I can deal with it. After school, I was heading home when I heard Holly and Bryce arguing. Hey, <coughs> Hey, Holly, let, let's go to the party. Uh, sorry. I don't really want to go. He then started to grab her and force her to the party. And, and she was screaming. Nobody helps since if you do, you'll be humiliated in front of the school. But I then did something I usually would never do. <laughs> hey, Bryce! Let her go! She already said no! He scoffed at me and said to back off. Well, more of back off wimp, so I decided to punch Bryce off of Holly. But that was a huge mistake. He wasn't really phased and punched me right back. Ugh, it hurt. I was bleeding and painting. But, but I knew that Bryce was going to force Holly into doing stuff she, she doesn't want. And... I know I was a simp and maybe still am, but, but I, despite that, I will help her. I was painting and I tried to push him away from her, but I, I was too weak. He didn't cause his cronies to beat me up and I was painting as hard as being stabbed. But then, Rowley came and somehow, for some reason, people ran away from him. Rowley helped me up and... He uses karate skills on him. He also got hit, but he held a pain like it was nothing. And I guess it was thanks to that sleepover he had with his karate team. Bryce was badly injured and left, but before doing so, he muttered something about how we will regret this. Holly thanked us for what we did and left for home. Also, when I got home, Mom was questioning me about my bleeding, so I just lied about falling to thorns, and for some reason, she just believed it. She bandaged my wounds and I went to sleep. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this is my final week of school before high school and I'm a bit worried of how school will end. I mean, Bryce is trying to kill me and, and Dad thinks I'm a failure. I, I'm just so stressed. I've also been studying like crazy. You see, the school decided to remove examinations for a standardized test. If you have any lower than 70%, then you just fail. I'm also wondering about which high school I should go to. There is Crossland High, but Roderick is there for at least one more year and has enough time to screw me over. But he has started to change, so I don't know anymore. There is also Plainview High School, but I heard it's basically Plainview Middle School all over again for an extra year. But there is a new high school named Zero High. It is actually insanely awesome with clean floors, free food, which has junk food, by the way. The classes are actually relevant and teach us about taxes and entrepreneurship. It's actually a dream school, but you gotta be super smart to get there. Plus, you need all A's on your report every time to even attempt to enter this school. It's a school for kids like Alex Aruda. But it's getting quite late, so I guess I should actually get some sleep now. Tuesday. I've been studying pretty hard lately since the whole standardized test thing, and let me say this, it is not that great. At least, Mom is proud of me for actually caring about my academics. I've also apologized to Rally about everything I've done, and surprisingly, he actually forgave me. I've also started getting new friends like Tyson Sanders, even though he's on the A-team, and soccer has been pretty good, I guess. I'm a back defender, and we've actually won more games now. Rally's our striker, and he is probably the best in our team. 
I also got a paper to where I want to go after middle school. So far, I think I'll choose Crossland High. It's pretty good, but the only downside is Roderick, but I could probably deal with him. Here's my application for Crossland. It may not look much, but hopefully it works. Also, me and Rowley are actually pretty popular now. Well, more of Rowley for actually fighting Bryce and me more for attempting to go against Bryce. Mom also gave me an iPhone since I've been studying really hard and yes, an actual iPhone. One of the new ones, an iPhone 12 to be specific. And I'm gonna admit, it's pretty good. And I used one of the school's Chromebook for research. Then got DM by Holly for that picture. Now I have an iPhone, so I'll probably download everything later though. I've also heard that Holly dumped Bryce recently. Now, he all me would have used this for my own advantage. But now that I have empathy, I'm actually gonna go try and comfort her. Now, you may be asking why I would do that, but the answer is, I don't even know myself, but despite that, I will try. On Friday, we are going to have a tournament, but not just any tournament, the state finals. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that we had a lot of matches, so now we can qualify for a tournament. And because of that, me, Rowling, and Shirag have been practicing with each other and learning different tactics for the matches we have ahead of us. I've also seen many improvements in my skills, like to deflect, pass, and kick the ball. But I guess I'm probably going to sleep now. <laughs> Mom is going to kill me if she finds I'm awake. Wednesday. Mom woke me up today and I went to school like normal. But then I got a message on my phone. Message from Bryce Anderson. Get behind the school right now! I decided to, but that's rally stay close because I don't want to get in a fight again. Okay, Bryce, I saw your message, but don't pull any funny crap. I brought Rally here just in case you do. Look, Greg, I know you're upset with me, but Greg, I'm not mad at you, and you're probably confused why the whole Holly situation happened, but let me explain. I didn't expect to forgive him. He says we on drugs lately, and he was pretty selfish. He said Holly forced him to talk to me, and he then said before he left that somehow Holly can trust me. Pretty weird for me, but... That means I don't need to worry about being punched in the face every day, which is definitely a relief. After that, I came back to the cafeteria and continued my lunch. When I came home, I was tired, but despite that, I still did my freelancer job and did some chores around the house. I then went to do my homework when I saw a man carrying a jar with a lot of money. I asked him where he got it from, but he said he stole it. and. I was super paranoid about this because the cops might come and take me so I knew everything he did. He said he stole it from many kids and I told him to go back to the kids he stole from, but he said this. It doesn't matter, Bubby. I'll be the witches in the world soon. Well, I guess someone is going to juvenile very soon since the government lowered the age to four. Yep, my government is stupid. But, and again... With kids like Manny, it kind of makes sense. Thursday. Today was another day of soccer practice at Plainview Field, but Mr. Litch said we will play on Friday, the same day school ends at 5 p.m. I asked Mr. Litch where we go for the state finals, but he just shouted at me to figure it out myself. I guess he wants his team to be lost, but fortunately for me, Rowley told me he was at California. That is pretty far away from Plainview. But he said it was also a full paid trip because we actually got a sponsor. Yeah, a real sponsor. And our sponsor was Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's not really a big deal. It's not like one of the biggest American companies in the world. We planned our first match and it was against our neighbor town, 20 minutes away from us, Franklin. Yeah, somebody also have a soccer team. Oh yeah, <laughs> I gently forgot to mention our team name. It's called the Plainview Winners, and hopefully we don't lose soon because then that name will sound really stupid. I also study all my subjects, and I think I'm ready for tomorrow's test. Friday. Today was very, very eventful. 
In the morning, we had a test, and let me say, it was hard. Question one. Which country started the revolution? Explain uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you're, I, I can't figure it out. Uh, let's get to question two. What is a human? <gasps> what? These are supposed to be the easy questions. Huh? After the test, the government evaluators will mark the quizzes. And I was sitting in my seat, wondering if I was going to fail or not. Our homeroom teacher, Mrs. Gale, said that we will receive our test results in the mail tomorrow. Also, my class was making a lot of noise while waiting for her classes to finish their test. I had finished my test a while ago, so I was just waiting and waiting till the school bell rang. Until I heard the best sound I have all year. Green Green Middle School has officially closed. Everyone may leave the school premises at 1 p.m. Thank you all for your cooperation today. The entire school was glad that school was finally over and everyone was in a rush to get out. But me and Riley just walked out normally since we had to save our energy for the match. When I arrived home, mom said she'd rest for the game and that's exactly what I did. 5 p.m. Today was our first game in the state finals. We won it for the game against Franklin, but afterwards, we played for real. I was basically doing nothing the entire time. Just because Franklin's good at basketball doesn't mean a good soccer either. The only time I really moved was when he had a free kick to block the ball. I was pretty scared of the ball hitting me. Well, along with my teammates. However, lucky for us, they missed and ended up losing. So, we won 1-0. Our next match tomorrow is against a town far away from here, Alki. It's a town with the best crops and fruits there is in our state, and I heard they're pretty good with tackling, which might be a problem. Our sponsor was able to get us a hotel to stay at, and we rested up for tomorrow. Saturday. Today's the next match. We came to the field and we didn't play. I mean, I don't want to be a narcissist again, but... I didn't even think we needed to warm up for that. Their teammates were strong, but they weren't that smart and we easily dribbled through the ankles. So we won 2-0. to zero. But now, we were finally able to get to the quarterfinals. We then had to fly over to California. Yeah, that California. We entered a plane and there were a bunch of people there. Then, an announcement occurred. We are now leaving in 10 minutes, and please put your electronic devices on airplane mode. I'd say that when you have a middle seat and no one's in the aisle and window seat, it's actually pretty relaxing. I mean, I have experience with having bad luck on planes. So now, I'll have some relaxation before we get to California. Sunday morning, 6am. I was pretty hungry after a flight, and Mr. Litz said we could relax a bit before registering to the quarterfinals. So, me and Rally head over to get some ice cream since it was pretty hot. And let me say, it was super delicious. So, I paid him and we went back to our team. We then registered and tomorrow is our match. 1pm. I'm pretty bored right now, so I'm right now. I guess after landing, our team basically just rested for our next match. So... I decided to do some research and I found out that we were against Gillip City. Now, Gillip citizens are super fast because they were able to alter the genetics. Yeah, I know it sounds insane. They managed to keep it a secret for about 20 years, but then someone was stupid and exposed the secret for social media. Gillip is going to be a challenge to us, so I hope we can win this match with our strategies and brains. Monday. Today was the day against Gillop. We got to the fall pitch and whew, it was massive. It is super tall and about 330 feet. But, but, but enough of the stadium. I need to focus on the game. We got to the field and Rally got the ball and ran towards the goal. However, their speed was so rapid that they easily got the ball and scored. Thanks to that demonstration, we started again with a different tactic this time. Rally passed the midfielders and they soon started dribbling and passing to each other in a group. Since Gallup's team was swift, they tried to tackle. However, 
So the midfielders were in a group. They were able to recover the ball and score multiple times. In the end, the score was... 5-1. to one. Now, I know it's wrong to say this, but imagine being genetically bred to win sports and losing to a bunch of normals. I was pretty exhausted by the match, but now we are in the semifinals. The team in that we are going to face against is somehow even better than Gillup. So we need to get ready. Our next team is against the Summer Dogs. Their strategy is simple yet effective. They let the opposing team get goals and let them be cocky. And then they easily get goals due to their defenses not paying attention anymore. I think that is actually a good strategy and I told our team about it. So we practiced and got ready for tomorrow. Tuesday. It was pretty early this morning as we headed the field when something happened. During warm-ups, Chirag sprained his ankle so he was no longer able to play for the match. Mr. Lich thought about using our herb players, but very useless in his position. He was a striker along with Rowley, and they cooperated really well. So, guess who is his replacement? It was me. <sighs> yep, we are screwed. We entered a field and just suspected they were acting horribly. Game two started, the referee blew the whistle. I passed the ball at Rally, and we went to our side. The summer dogs were probably wondering what the heck we were doing. Along with the midfielders, we came back with better security, and we easily went past them and scored twice. They were pretty mad about this and decided to be serious. They had gone offensive while we were going defensive. But despite that, we were able to take the ball quite often and ended up winning 3-0. So now, we're in the finals, and... It's pretty exciting since our team might be the best in the whole tournament. Though, the state finals restricted us from using the internet for info now that we're in the finals, which kind of sucks, but hey, we don't need it. Now, I don't know who we're up against, so let's just hope it's a bad team. Wednesday, this was our last match, and let me just say, my legs were shaking as we entered the stadium. There was a huge audience, and... That got me even more nervous, but luckily, my team was able to calm me down. We then saw the opposing team, and let me just say, it was pretty surprising. It was Slacksville. Slacksville, the town that stole Plainview's Diamond Factory. The team that humiliated our basketball team. They were here, and when the players saw us, they grinned. I was pretty shocked and... We're in our finals since Slacksville is so rich that they could rig the whole game if they wanted to. The warm-ups don't even occur since we need to strategize. The referee blew a whistle and it was the match of my life. I was defender most of the game, but in the final five minutes, we were doomed. And let me just say, it was the most difficult game we had yet. But luckily, we were tied 3-3. We barely had any time left, and, and we try to be defensive, but but if you end for tie, it'll be penalty time, and, and Slacksville is really, really good at shooting. So we tried going offensive, and it was pretty terrible. They had good defense, and I decided that maybe I should help out a team, so I decided to do something really stupid. Yeah... I tried to score, since I knew I couldn't end the season with no goals, and it's better than not trying at all. The entire stadium was watching as the ball entered the goal, and everyone all at once, as soon as the ball hit the goal, said, GOAL! I... I was completely shocked, since I have the worst luck ever! So, it was now 4-3, and we went defensive. And, in the end... We won! And, and my teammates hoarded me. They were slurring that I scored the big shot. And let me say, it was awesome to actually work for something and, and, and finally achieve it. It felt, it felt so good. And we finally got the prize. It was a check with $20,000. So we each got $1,000. It was so cool. And even better, 
We were now known as the best soccer team in the whole state. I came back home with a chick in my hand, and we also had our own small trophy. It was like one of those trophies I got for swimming when I was a kid. When... When... When Dad was still around. You know, it's kind of ironic how he thought I was a wimp. Because now, my team has a title of the best soccer team in the whole state. June, Thursday. Today's the first day of summer, and... It's pretty good. I finally got my high school application back in. I was approved, so now I can go to Crossland High. And me and Rally have been enjoying our summer together perfectly. So I guess I'll write back when we're done playing some Twisted Wizard 2. September, Tuesday. Well, it's been a week since I entered Crossland High and it's pretty great. Things have been going well recently. Mom got a good paying job, Manny is pretty much the same, and, and Roderick? Well, he's doing amazing! He literally got Low Diaper and Alba, and they're now a huge band! You know, I always thought he was going to fail, but I guess they're pretty famous now. I mean, they can even go to Boston! Yeah, from all the dough he got from his performances, he can now go to different countries. He's basically set for life! Also, Dad is now begging us to forgive him as we have money, but we always ignore it. Mom has officially divorced him and now he can cheat on Mom with Mrs. Jefferson all he wants. I don't care. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just a little mad about that still. And Holly? Well, I decided to just be friends with her since I am genuinely not interested in a romantic relationship right now, especially because of the work. But... Me, Rowley, and Holly are basically a trio now, so it doesn't matter. I will say, high school is pretty hard, especially since I haven't hit my growth spurt yet. But it makes my mind at ease when I still have my trophy as a soccer champion. The end. Anyway, that's Diary Kid, the soccer champion. Sorry for a long wait. You know, making Five Name Clive really took a toll on me since I... You know, that video was really hard to make, much harder than part one. And also, it's almost end of uh, Ramadan. I mean, actually, no, it's over. It's finished. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, in the next reading will be Diary of Kid Overflowing, part five. You guys have been begging, begging for this. And originally, the next one was supposed to be Thanksgiving, but the new page is dropping. And also, you guys don't stop commenting, which, which thank you guys for doing that. That's really good. Thank you for um, I'm I'm always reading the comments. I always read all of them. I try to play as much as I can, but oof, sometimes I feel sick, like yesterday. But yeah, Overflowing Part 5 is coming out next. You guys are going to be excited for this one. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.